everybody, it's Amanda, and um, I just want to say welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days. So, um, it's actually the night before April 1st. I figured it'd be easier if I go ahead and kind of pick my sample like the night before. And this is what we have to play with. Um, I can't see in this box. I'm hoping you can see the box because I'm going to kind of tilt it towards you and then pick one. Um, I'm closing my eyes, not that you ha have proof of that, but I'm closing my eyes and I'm going to, oh, before I do that though, after I pick this one, I'm going to throw in a, um, a wild card that is just a sample vial that's filled with water. And this is for me to go ahead and use any of my inked, like my bottled inked, because yeah, I have a ton of samples, but I don't want to neglect all my bottles for the whole month if I don't have to. So I'm giving myself this wild card and I filled it with a little water so it wouldn't be empty and slapped a label on it so I wouldn't be able to feel that it was one of those. So after I choose this first ink, I'm gonna throw this in there and it will be part of the rest of the month. And um, also, um, if my ink flight shows up or when my ink flight shows up, if it's not an April Fool's joke like it was last year, um, I'll throw those samples in here and um, yeah, so that's kind of what's gonna happen. So, all right, I'm tilting this so you can hopefully see it and I cannot. I'll kind of mix it up a little bit. Sorry, I know it's kind of loud. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna move this box. This is the ink sample I chose, and what did we choose? <laughs> Sailor, oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Sailor Manio, Manio, I had never really looked up the pronunciation, but it's Nico Yanagi, which is pretty, pretty purple. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start. Have my little notebook, courtesy of Creepy Nibs. And um, I'm going to go ahead and ink this pen up. And this pen has been cleaned, but all of a sudden it looks like it is not. So hang on one second. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ink this pen up. Have that, have that. Um, I'm gonna do this right here from the sample vial. Hopefully you can see this. Boop, had a little bubble. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, I forgot to grab a paper towel. Hold on one second. Please don't let it catch them up here and knock that sample over. I actually have a, like a washcloth that I use to like wipe my pens off, but that's in the other room. So I don't want to have to go get that. I'll be more prepared for next time. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I'm not going to worry if I get a full fill because I'm only going to use this for like a day. Okay, although that got nothing, so we'll try it again. Let me make sure I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Uh, kind of. It's more bubbles. Maybe inking it on camera was not a good idea. Oh my god, come on. Make sure, okay. There we go, that's better. So we have this pretty lavender ink. That is pearl. I think it's fitting that I started with the purple though. Pretty what it looks like. All right. So I've decided that I'm not going to stick to the Prera just because um, I pre-ordered the Twisby Rose Gold, and that is going to be coming in, um, well, very soon. So this is hashtag thirty inks, thirty days. And this is April. 2020 and the ink today is oh wait I don't want to spell this wrong so there we go and this is a pilot para and it has an M nib 
medium nib. And this is gonna be really light. But that's okay. I think it'll I think it'll work for what I needed to do. Yeah, some really light journaling. Let's go ahead and I like doing splats, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a splat. There we go, because why not? But yeah, so I'm not gonna go ahead and stick to the Pilot Prera. I am gonna switch out my pens. And then I think what I'm gonna do is at the end of like four or five days, or maybe a week, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a recap of the inks that I've used so far. Um, just to kind of give you like an idea of like how good it cleans out of a pen, how much I liked it. Um, I thought about doing it at the end of the month, but then it was suggested to me that maybe at the end of the week would be better. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. The quick maroon dog. So there we go. That's my ink for the day. I wish I would have gotten this in a broader nib, but I already picked the pen for the day basically because I said that I wanted to start with, I wanted to do the prayer that um, I decided that's what I was gonna do. But it, we will have different pens and inks. Oh, that's pretty. We will have different pens and inks. I'm not flipping you off, I'm flipping the paper off. Different pens and different inks every day. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna rotate through the same five or so pens, but I know that when that Twisby Rolls Gold arrives, I'm gonna wanna use it. Probably not that day, cause it'll ink, ink up my pen, but it'll be the next day, so. There you go. Sweet, so this is day one. Day one. One. And then tomorrow, well I mean, in the morning, it's technically, I don't know my watch on. And my phone's up there. I think, I don't know what time it is. It's either almost midnight or just after midnight, but yeah. So here's the ink for the day. And then um, tomorrow on Instagram, I will go ahead and do the quote of the day and it will be in my little Hobonichi. Um, this is a cover from like two or three years ago. It's the Ukrainian flowers and this is just um, the 2020 Hobonichi. I haven't actually used it a whole lot but um, I'll um, do some stuff in the calendar pages and then on the daily page I will write my little quotes and stuff and then I'll post that on Instagram. So yeah and I think at the end I'll probably do a flip through of this because I think that'd be fun to do. So all right, so a successful day one in the books, and I will see you tomorrow with a new pen and a new ink. Take care, bye.